Good evening once again, Truth of Life Thursday. Just for everybody that has questions, I want you to know that um, I appreciate you sending them in. And um, I like I like to hear, you know, you know what people are thinking. I like to, to look into the word and, and see see what it says. And so I just want to uh, thank everybody for sending questions in and please, you know, share, share everything that you, um, that you want to share. Um, and if you know people that have questions about the Bible, please uh, let them know to inbox me on Thursday. And uh, that's what we'll be doing. Um, let me go to the next question. So this one, uh, one person sent, sent this question in and said, I'm struggling with the possibility that the Bible could have been tampered with. Only because if man can lie about the image of God and the Son of God, just to justify slavery and 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 their position, I'm feeling like man is evil enough to do that. Okay, so this is the answer um, that I came up with. Um, basically, you're right. You know, man can do all the evil he wants. He could tamper with the Bible if he wants to. I could write my own book and call it the Bible today. If I wanted to, it's not a, it's not a, it wouldn't be a problem. If I'm evil enough to do that, I can do it. But what we have to realize is, as evil as man is, God is right, <laughs> and God is righteous, and God is powerful. So God can keep all His promises as well. And part of His promise is to preserve His word and to preserve His truth. Um, so God has promised to preserve His word in Psalms 117, and says that His mercy endures forever. And his truth endures to every generation. So his truth endures to every generation. So God, he protects his truth. God has a responsibility and the ability to communicate to us through other people, through prophets, through, um, and he also has the ability to inspire people to research and find out, you know, the original text and the original meanings and things like that and to preserve the truth. Um, so so that's what God does. And so God, so just as evil as man is to corrupt the word, God has promised to to protect his word. And so all we have to do is have the character and the diligence to search it out. And we'll find the truth. Uh, another thing we have to realize is that we have the Holy Spirit. You know, if we have the Holy Spirit, then we have it. Uh, and the Holy Spirit shows us the truth. Um, a lot of times when you read these apocrypha books and all these extra books you can read it and just tell that that's it's garbage like it's, it's contradicting the word it's contradicting the spirit of god it's contradicting the heart of god so when we have the holy spirit we know what fits with god's spirit so it's not just about you know god does preserve his scriptures but it's also he preserves his spirit too and so we can we have the holy spirit and we can sense uh in our spirit and through the rest of the body of christ uh, you know, we can we can agree on what the truth is because his witness is in our spirit. So we can understand intellectually um, just by research and we can also just know by his spirit that he has preserved his word and we can find the truth and we can know when something fits and when something doesn't fit. And as we progress and as we keep growing in God, we can find out more and more truth. Um, so God has protected his word. Amen.